I think there's something to be said for giving McGahn credibility by inviting him to the White House. It strengthens his hand in, in dealing with the more violent members of his own party. He agrees with violent. You also think if we legitimize him, the Protestants will wake up and, and, and accept they've got to negotiate with somebody. Toby, you were the author, were you not, of the President's speech at the General Assembly? There were many authors. Of which you were one. Two days ago, the IRA formally backed out of its promise to put its weapons beyond use. I, as agreed to in the Good Friday Peace Accord. True, false. Until it disarms, the IRA and its political representatives in Sinn Féin are a terrorist group. True. When did it become policy of the United States to negotiate with terrorists? We've had our fat here, John. And my heaven, isn't that pain bloody difficult? It wasn't worth trying? You're making the mistake of youth. The president's not a kid. The country is. Involving yourself in a centuries-old conflict without sufficient regard for history. Listen to the warning of old friends. It was Kipling who warns to expect the blame of those you better and the hate of those you guard. It wasn't a James Joyce who said history is a nightmare from which I'm trying to awake. Yes, but it was your own great Irish master, Eugene O'Neill, who said there is no present or future, only the past happening over and over again. Now. You're saying we should butt out of Ireland until we know what we're doing? saying Brendan McGann cannot come to the White House. Say, speaking of dead Irish writers... Yes, another drink.